this little bit of coral has got all kinds of nubbins all over it. Those are the polyps. That's where the polyps sit. So we're going to do a demonstration of the dissolving power of acid. So this is just regular household vinegar. It's pretty acidic. It's more acidic than the ocean water is going to get, but it's a good demonstration of the power of acid in dissolving things like coral skeletons. So I'm not expecting a very dramatic reaction for this because the acid here is not that strong, but you can see immediately all the bubbles start to form. The ocean's becoming acidic just because of basic chemistry. We are pumping lots of CO2 into the atmosphere. That CO2 is dissolving into the ocean. Once it gets in water, it turns into carbonic acid. And that carbonic acid then makes the ocean more acidic. Coral is calcium carbonate. A lot of marine critters make calcium carbonate shells. Uh, snails do. The hard part of a crab shell is even limestone rock is calcium carbonate laid down by marine creatures that lived millions of years ago. All of that is subject to being dissolved by the acidic seawater. So can you really believe that, that rocks can be dissolved? The rock islands of Palau are a great example because the islands themselves sit on pedestals. The pedestals underneath the island have been eroded away by fresh water in the sea, uh, by the action of sea and sand, and by the action of tiny little snails that are grazing away at the undersides of these rocks. So little by little, this big island is being eaten away by the ocean and by the creatures in it. All of that's going to get faster if the ocean becomes acidic because the acid will eat away at the base of all those islands faster than the ocean is now. For millions of years, the ocean has been pH of about 8 on the surface. In 50 years or so, the pH is going to drop, which means it'll be more acidic it'll drop to about pH 7.8. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but pH is measured on a log scale, and a drop of that magnitude means that there's one or two times more CO2 in the water, and the acidity of the ocean is much higher. All these organisms have evolved in an ocean with a pH of 8. Their cellular machinery that makes skeleton is going to have a harder and harder and harder time in making the skeleton because the ocean is trying to dissolve it as fast as they're trying to make it. And if it was just the corals that were dissolving away, that'd be bad enough. But the corals form a habitat for thousands of other species. When the corals dissolve away, it leaves nothing for all these other species to live on. The habitat will be gone. I really wasn't expecting it to bubble this way. And now, 24 hours later, the coral skeleton is about half dissolved. So much of the calcium carbonate has bubbled away that we can see exposed the flesh of the polyps and the proteins that used to be buried inside the skeleton. Now this vinegar is much more acidic than the ocean is expected to get, but the principle is the same. An acidic ocean will dissolve away corals and make it much more difficult for them to grow and live. Mm -hmm.